Hear me and hear me good. If you don't get anything else out of this video, look into finding yourself a good tailor and it will change how you feel in your clothes and it will change how you feel about yourself. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back and welcome to, if you're new, my name is Abria Perry and welcome to my channel. Hello, you guys. Today, we are talking boobies it's all about the tatas it's all about the girls today we're gonna sit down and have a real heart to heart about the girls and particularly my bigger girls you know my well endowed honeys if you got it flaunt it you know ain't no padding here my sisters okay that's what we're gonna do today we're going to have a conversation about boob hacks bra hacks for my bigger girls dressing your bigger girls and just some tips that have really really I hold them here I hold them here pun intended yeah, that's what we're talking about today. If you are new to my channel, like I said, my name is Abria Perry. Welcome. I am so happy to have you today. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss any of the fun, any of the videos. I have a goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers in 2020 and I would so appreciate you all's help in doing so so make sure that you're subscribed and you follow me on instagram at i am Bree perry as well because i give tons of other tips over there that don't always make it to my youtube channel so without further ado let's get into the video today like i said we are going to be having a real heart to heart a real some real girl talk today about the tatas and the big tatas i have been well endowed my whole life and we love it we're all about body positivity over here. We love her. I ran track for years with my larger chest. Figured out the best sports bras, all that good stuff. We can have a whole nother conversation about that. But particularly today, we're gonna be talking about style tips, dressing your larger chest, and just my kind of holy grail methods and tips that are just non-negotiable when it comes to style in my chest. So, number one, I have a whole list here for you guys. And I wrote things down because there's just some things we cannot forget. It has to be said. Number one might seem obvious, but a lot of people just don't. A lot of women have a fear of it or a phobia of it or you hate it, particularly when you are a larger cup size. And that is bras. I absolutely hated bra shopping like I hated bra shopping I have a lot of experience with bras and finding the right bra for me and I now know what's gonna work for me for the rest of my life and it's not negotiable I don't do t-shirt bras it's not an option I don't do push-up bras Victoria's Secret bras are pretty much not even really a thing for me they're cute I do have a couple but they don't really get worn because they don't give me the support that I need I strictly wear lace bras or like minimizer bras but they're not really minimizers they're not the old lady minimizers don't worry we're not doing that but they don't have any padding in them so if you are a larger cup size or if you are a larger chest size just get rid of padding body who is still wearing bras with padding bras with padding or that really have anything in them other than I really just a holster you guys like that's pretty much what my bras are they're a holster they're thick straps with nice lace or a nice soft material on them and a little bit of underwire but not that underwire that's poking into you just enough to perk us up hold us up and get us through the day that is our goal something that a lot of women don't know or a lot of women wear the wrong bra size and that's just a common known fact that you're not wearing the right bra size but what a lot of bigger bust women don't know is that they might have a bigger cup but their back doesn't necessarily match the cup that you have so for me i'm relatively small like 
my chest do not match the rest of my frame which is something that i've been dealing with forever so with that being said my band is small my back is small so what i have to do is get a smaller band when my band is smaller i have to go up a size so for example if you're somebody who's wearing a 38 triple d right now and your back is smaller you might really you might really be able to do a 36 you know e or g or you know what i'm saying so if you're going down on your band then you would probably have to go up in your cup but that might make you feel more comfortable because you might be wearing a band right now that's not fitting you right so it's not supporting you and as a result your clothes are not fitting you as good as they could something that a lot of our us larger breast women deal with is when we're wearing the wrong bra it, it spills over the top and it's extremely obvious so wearing shirts like the shirt that I have on now is just a catastrophe because you have all of this boobage coming out the the top and the side that should not be there and I am here to tell you that is something that you do not have to deal with it's just all about getting the right band size for you and making sure that you have straps on that are actually supporting you and not digging into you I used to get cuts on my shoulder and all different types of things because my band was not fitting me so I was trying to keep my bra strap super tight to make up for that support that I was losing in my band because think about it the band is holding you here which is holding everything up right here and the straps are meant to you know kind of keep everything in line but if the band is huge there's not really much that the straps can do for you they can't make up that much so you need to find a bra that's well fitting and you need to invest in good quality bras when you have bigger chest i mean i think that everybody should invest in good quality bras but if you are somebody who doesn't need as much support you can pretty much kind of be flexible with your bras but the people who make good bras like Eveden, Way Cole, I get a lot of my bras from Way Cole. My bras can be pricey. I might pay 70 up. Like the least that I've ever spent on a bra since I've been buying my own bras is $70. But even my mom, my mom introduced me to Way Cole and all the women in my family, the large majority of them are busty as well. So we've pretty much gotten this down to a science and it's something that I just know was always gonna be a high for me. In Finn style, your highs are the things that you consider to have immense value or they're an investment in the sense that they're gonna last you or you're gonna get a return on your investment if you decide to sell them. So for me, obviously I'm never gonna sell my bras, but the comfort in the idea that I have on a good supporting bra that's gonna support my back, support me, and make me look flawless in my clothes is just absolutely non-negotiable. I love clothes, I spend a lot of money on my clothes as well, so it wouldn't make sense for me to not be well suited under my clothes so that my clothes can look the best that they can so if you're somebody who is buying all of these amazing clothes and you're having issues um with the sizing of your clothes it might be that your bra is not fitting you the best way that it could and because of that you're not able to fit into certain clothes next styling tip and just kind of large breast tip when it comes to clothing is buy the size that fits you and not the size that you want to wear I cannot stress this enough this goes with anything whether you have a large breast or not whether you have a large bottom or not buy the size that fits you not the size that you want to wear it is 2020 honey we love them thick thighs we love the big boobs we just do we love the little boobs we love the skinny thighs we love whatever you're working with because the body you got is the body we love and we're gonna love it regardless so <laughs> all I'm saying is that clothes in this day and age are made by so many different people in so many different places with so many different standards of size that a two here might be a eight somewhere else. So you can't really get wrapped up in the numbers and get wrapped up and feeling like, oh my God, that's huge. 
nobody cares what size it is as long as it fits you but what i'm telling you is don't wear something that's too small because or don't wear something that's too big get the size that fits you or that is going to fit and then have it adjusted accordingly so i personally don't get wrapped up in sizes i will tell you guys right now this shirt that i have on it is an extra large it's from zara that is the biggest size that zara carries and i feel absolutely no way about it because it fits but if I had on a large or I had on a medium and it was too small, you would know that I'm wearing a shirt that's too small. But having on this shirt, you, it looks fine. You know what I'm saying? You're not like, oh, is that a extra large? Like, no, nobody cares. The only thing that people care about is that your clothes are well suited for your body. So get the size that fits you not the size that you want to wear or get the size that is going to fit your chest when you have something on you or you have a body part that let's hypothetically say that you are not um, comfortable with your chest that you're not somebody that wants to draw attention to your chest getting a size focusing focusing on your chest you personally focusing on your chest will help others to not focus on your chest so much. If I wasn't so open about being bustier, some people might not even know that I'm busty because I feel like I wear it well. I'm not gonna say that I hide it well because I'm not hiding it. I'm personally not a sexy, quote unquote, dresser. I'm not somebody that's, all that's ever been into showing a lot of skin I do like you know I like to show a little clavicle and you know legs I love my legs I love my body but I'm not somebody who is constantly putting things on that are sucking on it nothing wrong with you do that's just not my personal style so I'm not saying that I'm hiding my chest but I'm saying that I wear them well and what I mean is that I get items that fit my chest and if you are somebody that wants to maybe minimize the appearance of your chest and that's a, a area on your body that you don't want to draw attention to you need to pay attention to it meaning you need to get things with the thought of minimizing your chest and then dressing everything else around it if that makes sense so that leads me into my next point which is tailoring and this goes for anybody whether you care what kind of body you have get just get something fit to you at least once in your life get something taken in just perfectly fit to your body chef's kiss it's amazing but to my to my sisters with the boobies girl will we get something taken in it's a hit it's a hit every time when you find a good tailor who can really shape items to your body and create things for your body it's a game changer so when you get an item focus on your chest if you have to get it extra large for your chest and it fits nowhere else that is more than okay because you know what we're doing we're bringing it to our tailor we're bringing it to mrs angelo my tailor at home in boston her name is mrs angelo i'm pretty sure that's not her real name i think her husband's name was angelo and for whatever reason i just started calling her mrs angelo when i was little um <laughs> but she was an amazing is an amazing seamstress i don't go to her anymore because i live in atlanta now i would get clothes this is as young as i went from my grandmother was also a seamstress let me start with that my grandma was an amazing designer amazing seamstress i say this in past sense because she doesn't sew as much anymore but absolutely amazing made all of the wedding dresses in my family my mom my aunts they all looked gorgeous i got spoiled from a young age because my grandma used to take in all of my clothes for me i used to be really small i was a small kid and i used to have to get my my you know school skirts and church dresses and everything jeans everything to be taken in then once i got older i just still 
got things taken in because I was always busty. I was always tiny everywhere else and had these boobs that it's like, where did you get these from? Oh yeah, look at your mom, look at your aunt. But I love them and God gave them to me, so we're rocking with them. But my point is that when you get an item, think about your chest. Think about how you want it to fit your chest and how you want to be comfortable up here and the rest will work itself out. I'll get a dress. If I need to get a dress in a 10 for my chest, but I need it to fit as a 6 everywhere else, that is okay. Because what I'm going to do is bring it to my tailor, have him fit my chest. Maybe I get a dress in a 10, but I really need it to be an 8, but I need it to be a 6 in the bottom. I get a 10 to give them room to work with, get it taken in up top, get it taken in on the bottom, maybe cinched at the waist, and boom. You look amazing and you literally have this custom made piece for your body that looks a hundred times more expensive than it actually is. And it just it changes the whole game it is amazing for comfort it boosts your self-confidence so definitely keep that in mind when you're shopping you can get an item that only costs you forty dollars and have it end up looking like it's 400 because you got it tailored so i definitely keep that in mind that's definitely one of my fin style holy grails i get items that you know are good quality but they're not luxury, you know, they're a happy medium because I know that I wanna save some money to invest in the tailoring and the fit of the item. I'm just gonna say this. Tailored clothes are how busty girls break the internet, okay? I'm telling you all this now. Hear me and hear me good. If you don't get anything else out of this video, Look into finding yourself a good tailor and it will change how you feel in your clothes and it will change how you feel about yourself. Because honey, you can't tell me anything when I step out <laughs> in, in a new dress that I just got taken in. It makes a world of difference and it's just so important because nobody's body is exactly the same it just isn't so it's just possible to buy something off the rack to create one item off the rack and it fit every single person that's never gonna happen this is not the sisterhood of the traveling pants it's just it isn't it's not how it works and the sooner we realize it the happier we will be i want you guys to know that your boobs are amazing your big boobs are amazing your little boobs are amazing your big booty is amazing and your little booty is amazing and i love you just the same whether you got a little bit of extra jiggle or you got a little bit of extra bones i love you <laughs> because you're amazing but just finding ways to dress that fits your body and that makes you comfortable is what is going to be best for you. I don't care what it is, do what is best for you. But when it comes to clothing, do not try to conform. Do not try to fit yourself into something that just is not for you and that you are not comfortable in. And that is just that is just that i promise you guys you will never catch me in anything that i am not comfortable in because i know my body i know how to dress my body and i know what works for me and what doesn't work for me and that's not self-hate that's not body shaming that's actually loving myself because i'm not going to put myself in a situation that i'm not comfortable in and that just doesn't fit my personal aesthetic and my personal body so with that being said girl get yourself a good bra waco is my preference i am absolutely biased they just hold me up i'm not gonna say hold me down Y'all get it? Buy the size that fits you. Buy the size that is right for you and is right for your girls and adjust everywhere else because it is their world. 
and everywhere else is just living in it. And lastly, find yourself a good tailor and you all will fall in love. I'm telling you. My tailor is the love of my life. But that brings us to the end of today's video. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Please subscribe. I told you we're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers in 2020. And we will. We shall. Because we said we're going to do it. So, I love you. Have a great rest of your day. Please stay safe. Please stay sane. Maybe go for a little walk. Have yourself a good snack. I think that's what I'm about to do when I stop recording this video. And just be great. <laughs> love the girls. Love on them. You know, tell them positive affirmations. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Until next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes you need things to sit in different places. <laughs> and they're not in their assigned locations for that time i think we can all all my big chest women we can attest that sometimes they're not in their designated locations and i'm like wait i didn't put you there i need you to go back